Hey guys, it's Lisa Childs here from TriedTestedAndTrue.com. Today I'm sharing with you 15 store-bought things you didn't know you could make in your air fryer. The first recipe we're gonna do are air fryer tortilla chips. Dude, you are never going to eat tortilla chips out of the bag. <laughs> again because once you put them in the air fryer they are incredible they're just toasty and warm and oh they're so good so just put a whole bunch of tortilla chips in your air fryer you don't need to do anything else stick them in a preheated air fryer for one to three minutes if your air fryer preheats after you turn it on then just do like one minute but i like to do 400 degrees for one to three minutes get them nice and toasty take them out about halfway and shake them so then they can get easily toasted and then these are going to be the best tortilla chips you have ever had. Next is air fryer bacon. This is the easiest way to make bacon. It comes out perfect every time. It is no mess, it's amazing. We like to use thick cut bacon for this recipe, so put your thick cut bacon in your air fryer basket and you can start this from cold. If your bacon is not thick cut, you can do a little bit less time and it's even easier. So turn on your air fryer to 400 degrees and add about five minutes. After five minutes, I like to take it out and flip the bacon to make sure that it gets cooked really well on both sides. So put it back in the air fryer for an additional two to five minutes, just depending on how crispy you like your bacon. So why don't you comment below and tell me how crispy you like it. We like ours just a little bit chewy, but still a little bit crispy too. I love making air fryer chicken wings and you can pick up any kind of chicken wings that you find at the store. There's like buffalo flavored ones or any of those varieties where they're already flavored. So just stick all of those frozen wings in your air fryer basket and then I like to put them in the air fryer 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. After the initial 5 to 8 minutes, I like to take them out and season them with some kind of seasoning blend or salt and pepper, garlic powder, whatever you want, and then we'll put them back in the air fryer to crisp. You want to turn them every 5 to 8 minutes just to make sure that they're getting crisp on all sides, and then when they register at at least 165 degrees, you can take them out, they're safe to eat. Now you can eat them as is like this, but I like to toss them in a buffalo sauce. A lot of the store-bought wings have a little sauce packet included in them, so that's really nice. You can just warm that up in the microwave and toss your wings in there, but I like to just use a little bit of Frank's hot sauce and butter. If you want the full recipe, the full directions for that, you can go over to that video right here. The next store-bought item you can make in your air fryer are chicken nuggets and tater tots or fries, whatever you want. My kids love to eat these for lunch. It's way cheaper than Chick-fil-A. So I just picked up these tots and these chicken nuggets at Sam's Club. And a lot of the packages these days on frozen foods have air fryer instructions on them. So turn it around, turn your packages around and see if there are air fryer instructions and just follow those. So we put in these chicken nuggets and tater tots at 400 degrees for about five to 10 minutes. You wanna just check every couple minutes and just see, cause some people like them less crispy, some people like them more crispy. We like ours more crispy. So we do usually a little bit more than what is put on the package. Brett loves to get fried mozzarella sticks at Arby's whenever we go there, they're his favorite thing. So I like to buy them at home and just stick them in the air fryer. So this bag had instructions to use a conventional oven, 400 degrees for seven to 10 minutes. And so I just did the exact same thing in my air fryer. Also, just a side note, you can do any of these recipes in an air fryer or with an air fryer lid with your Instant Pot. So after a couple minutes, you just want to shake up your basket and turn them if you want them to get crisp on all sides, and then you can take them out and enjoy. We like ours with ranch, but do you prefer marinara? Let me know in the comments. These mozzarella sticks are such a delicious and easy, quick snack. Just, I mean, check out that cheese bowl. I don't know if you've noticed, but you have been seeing these pink and yellow silicone trivets during my video. It's because I use them every single day. Hundreds of you have purchased these since I mentioned them in my last Instant Pot accessories video. These are incredible. I use them all the time because these are heat resistant up to 600 degrees. And so I like putting them under my air fryer if I don't like putting it straight on my counter. It's also really nice for when you have this really hot basket and you want to take it out and put it on the countertop. I just put it right on top of this so then it doesn't burn my counter. It is a really amazing product. And so I know that you'll love these. I'll stick the link to these below in the description. The next store-bought item that you can make in your air fryer are pre-made cookie dough balls. 
And so I wanna share with you a little trick I know. So instead of keeping this little flap here on the outside of your parchment paper like this, if you take out your parchment paper like this, and then you put this little lip inside the container and not on the outside like this, you put it on the inside like this, you will get a clean break every single time. It's not gonna get all jaggedy and ripped up. So there's a tip for you. Anyway, we found that these tiny little bricks of cookie were not doing it. And so we actually took four of those individual cookie pieces and mashed them together to make a big giant cookie. And so those are the size that we're making. And we found that if you do them at a lower temperature, about 300 degrees for 10 to 13 minutes, that's kind of that sweet spot to make sure you have that perfectly cooked cookie. Make sure in your air fryer, some are more powerful than others, that it's cooking okay, just pull it out about halfway through and just check to see it's not getting too brown. If it is getting too brown, lower the temperature a little bit and then you can just keep cooking it from there. If you want to do smaller cookies, you can totally do that as well. Just make sure that you adjust your time accordingly. I've also done this recipe with homemade sugar cookie dough in an Instant Pot cheesecake pan, which was really easy and nice. I just had some leftover dough, so I stuck it in that pan, threw it in the air fryer for about 10 to 12 minutes at 300 degrees and then we cooled it off completely, added a layer of fresh whipped cream, and we had a delicious fruit pizza. So that is kind of a creative way that you can use that accessory and cookie dough. So my friend Jen shared with me this secret. There are these delicious country fried steak patties sold at Sam's Club that are incredibly easy to make in the air fryer. And they actually taste really good too. So just take frozen country fried steak patties and it actually has instructions on the back of the bag. It says 360 degrees for about 10 minutes and so that is what we're gonna do in our air fryer. I just usually put in about four of these patties because they fit. Uh, for my family, it works perfectly perfectly and then about halfway through I check it and I flip it to make sure it's crispy enough. We like ours extra crispy though so we're going to add about an additional five minutes. The only thing I don't love is that it comes with a gravy packet that I don't think tastes that great so I like to just make mine homemade. It's just a really simple country gravy, milk, flour, butter, chicken stock, salt, pepper. That's pretty much it. And so that's really good to put on there. Super easy, delicious, fast meal to serve with instant pot mashed potatoes. And it is so good. Everyone in my family loves it. This is one ingredient I'm going to just count as store-bought because it's from a restaurant, but it's reheating pizza in your air fryer. Now, reheating cold pizza in the air fryer is life-changing because it tastes phenomenally better than the microwave or any other method that you have. It just crisps everything up so good and it's just awesome. So just take your cold pizza from the sad box, put it in your air fryer, and we are going to cook that pizza at 400 degrees for one to three minutes. It doesn't take very long at all. It just revives the life into the pizza. It tastes so much fresher. It's so good. On the topic of pizza, we have these frozen pizza rolls. Now these are a fun little snack for the kids or a little appetizer, whatever you want to do. They usually are cooked in the microwave, but they are so much better cooked in the air fryer. They get crispier and they're just way better. These don't come with air fryer instructions, but they do come with oven instructions. So we're just gonna do about the same amount of time in the air fryer. We put these pizza rolls in the air fryer at 400 degrees for seven minutes flipping halfway through. So around the three to four minute mark, we checked them. We wanted to make sure that they were at temperature. As long as they were at 165 degrees, they're totally safe to eat. But if you want them a little crispier, just keep them in the air fryer for a couple minutes longer. Hey, I hope that you're enjoying this video so far. Make sure that if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button right now. You can hit it right here, or maybe it's right here. But anyway, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Now let's keep going to the next recipe. The next store-bought item that you can make in your air fryer are sausage patties. Now I picked these up at Costco and they are so, so, so good. We love to just pop them in in the morning so then we can have an easy and quick protein because I like to make my kids eat protein in the morning versus just sugar and carbs. And so they are so easy to make in the air fryer. I put them in at 400 degrees for about five to eight minutes. My kids like them at five minutes and I'll just pull them out about halfway through and flip them. They like them a little bit softer, but I like them a little crispier because then they taste kind of deep fried and they're so good. So they are a quick and 
easy thing to add to your breakfast for lunch. If you're doing keto, it's super easy to just do like a fast thing of protein and fat. Low carbs, so easy. The next thing I love to make in my air fryer are cream cheese wontons. Now I have a video to make these homemade. You can watch that right here, but I mean, who has time for that all the time, right? So I just picked these up at Walmart. They're super convenient and easy to make. I just threw them in the air fryer. They had the instructions on the back already, so it was really convenient. And we just cooked them at 350 degrees for seven to eight minutes, flipping halfway through. This package was really cool because it came with a dipping sauce, so it just made for a really convenient, simple, easy snack. Next, I just pick up these awesome sausages at Costco or Sam's Club. You can find them at any grocery store too, but I love this brand. They're just like really delicious sausages, but I like eating them with broccoli or salad on the side for lunch and they're so good in the air fryer. They get kind of this like crispy skin on the outside and they just taste way better than if I make them on the stove. So you are going to love them. Well, I just put in these sausages for six to seven minutes at 400 degrees flipping halfway through. And I'm also going to throw in a little bonus here, which is just some plain asparagus. This is so easy to do at the same time. You can make your lunch in like five minutes and it's way better and healthier than a lot of things you could be eating. So I love doing this for lunch, just dipping that sausage in some mustard, eating that yummy asparagus. I like to just drizzle a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper on them. It's really, really good. And here's an extra little bonus tip. If you have asparagus, just put it in a container of water in your fridge. Just treat it like a flower and it will last way longer than normal. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already watched my other air fryer videos, you can check them out here. Or if you have an Instant Pot and you're totally scared of it, intimidated, don't worry, I've totally got you covered. With a free Instant Pot 101 series, you can click on that right here and you can watch that next. Okay, see you next time, bye.